G'day, Glav here. Another great ride today through South East Queensland. About 265 kilometres and just short of four hours in the saddle. I've added a stop at Wyvernhoe Dam, which is 56 kilometres from our start. It's highway riding out to Black Soil and then scenic country roads after that. Wyvernhoe Dam is a nice scenic spot. Dammed across the Brisbane River, Wyvernhoe is a major water source and flood mitigation for Brisbane. Wyvernhoe is a 1.2 million megalitre dam. The Cormorant Bay rest area, as you see it here, is a really nice picnic spot with great water views and a nice cafe overlooking the dam to have lunch at. From here, it's about 32 kilometres of country type roads from our next stop at Esk. We are just coming into Esk, where we're going to stop and have a bit of breakfast today. It's a nice little town of about 1,800 people. Great place to stop because it's got pubs, cafes, fuel, etc. It's also a good place to remember if you're a motorcyclist. As from Esk, you can head west up the Great Dividing Range to Hampton, which is a great bit of road, north towards Blackbutt or northeast, which is the way we're going to go today to Somerset Dam, which is only about 27 kilometres from here. I'm going to stop when we cross the Brisbane River again as it's a nice scenic spot and then straight from there out to Somerset. That's the Brisbane River below us. It's crystal clear at this end of the river. I've got to tell you, however, it's a lot different down river after the dam walls where it picks up a lot of mud and silt and turns a browny colour. Coming into Somerset now, 
The dam's recreational area is just a few kilometres out of town. As you're exiting town, you need to look pretty hard for the slip road to the recreational area because it's pretty easy to miss, particularly when you're on a motorbike. The Somerset Dam is also a large water source for Brisbane. It's a very popular water recreational spot with lots of ski boats, jet skis, etc. Lots of camping as well. It's got a capacity of about 380,000 megalitres. And from here, we're going to head to Kilcoy, which is 27 kilometres away. Kilcoy is a typical Queensland country town with a population of about 2,000 people thereabouts. Got everything, bakeries, cafe, pubs, fuel, etc. Really, there's nothing much to see in this town from a scenic point of view, therefore we don't generally stop here. From Kilcoy, we're going to head to Woodford, which is about 25 kilometres away. <laughs> Well here we are coming into Woodford. We often ride through Woodford as it's on the way to many rides that we do to places such as Mullaney, Montville etc. It's got a great pub with great grub and also a great bakery which makes fantastic Aussie meat pies. From Woodford we won't stop today we'll head straight on to the Mount Mead lookout which is about 17 kilometres away. It's a sensational bit of bike road from the base up to the lookout at Mount Me. I'm in that mood today. Yeehaw! Here we are again at the Mount Me lookout. I was hoping to have a perfect day so I could show everyone the view out to the Pacific Ocean. Typical, it was clear earlier but the clouds roll in just as I arrived. You get a reasonable view out to the Glasshouse Mountains but not out to the ocean unfortunately. From here we'll head down the other side of the mountain to Debra which is 24 kilometres. It's a great piece of motorcycling road but the boys in blue do frequent this road given the road's popularity with motorcyclists. Just a warning. <laughs> Calling in to Debra on the way home to visit some friends at their cafe and to have a good coffee. From here when we leave it's 57 kilometres home, rounding out the day at 265 kilometres. 
This is another great Southeast Queensland day ride. Hope you've enjoyed.